we play in Bloodborne still. Yeah, that's a really bright area right there. Yeah. So, Alex, I have a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> if okay. I were to tell you that I was going to be at my house in a half hour and we were supposed to do some shit, what would you do with that information? Uh, I would probably show up to your house <laughs> and, I mean, uh, if it, you could just have like, brought this up to me. No offense, guys, but, like, I'm not at your beck and call, like, and we tend to be really flaky and also, like, never really show up on time for things. Mm, and how many times... Oh, I'm gonna die! Fuck. Have we, like, gone somewhere and then someone shows up and we're still doing something? So, but, like... like uh, I also don't understand how you sat around for two. Hours. I mean, I was doing something, and I was like, if they're not, you didn't you're not message us me. once. I didn't we'll... hear anything from Alex either, so I was like, I if told you was... he was coming, and I told you we were playing Bloodborne, and yeah. I told you I was gonna be at home in a half hour. But then you didn't tell me you were home. So? So that I'm not. I didn't leave. tell him I was home, but he still showed up. Yeah, and he tends to show up and then usually like sit around, but I was doing shit. So I was like, I'm not going to leave until I know someone's here. Okay, well then you should have at least said something. At, at a minimum. I mean, it, but like that argument could be applied to you two. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Because I already gave you enough information. And I said I was off. And that what you're saying could very easily be applied to what I'm saying. No. Uh, yes. No. Uh, absolutely, yeah. I Like, absolutely. Thank you. We're gonna let the audience decide on this. Like, comment, yeah. and subscribe. Comment and say that I'm right, guys. I was fucking do with you. Like, all you guys got had to say was, "Hey, we're all ready. We're home." Well, I got over. That's not here. my responsibility. Yeah, I, I mean, it really well, is okay, not. Okay, so I got over here first. I I went and saw uh, Aiden before I came over here. No, yeah, I I saw him uh, tonight, and then. And then I, I was like, oh, man, they're probably uh, waiting on me. They're going to be all mad when I show up. And, like, I stopped at Wawa on the way. And I was like, uh, I'm going to get some shit when I show up for being uh, he's late. He's gone. But... He's gone. Oh, no, I got yeah, him. Yeah, I was, like, doing something. And I was like, until I know that everybody's there, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. But you couldn't have even nice. checked. I was I, I checked it, it's like five times. Uh, I looked at but the chat. you didn't you didn't ch so you were in the chat and you said nothing. Look, all of this could very easily be applied to you. You got home and didn't say like, "Hey, I'm home." Well, we because I didn't think I had to. People coming over I, my house and I'm home. I let them know. Because I didn't think I had I, to do that. When I, I expected showed, you to like already I said, be when coming. I, when I showed up, I thought that you guys were going to be mad at me for being late. So that's yeah. why I was like, oh, he should be here any minute. We were sitting here like talking for a while and we were like, hey. I expected Aiden? you to already be here or on the way here like by the time I got home. That's why I said I'll be home in a half hour. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to just like sit outside a house. Like I was in the middle of something. So I was for like, two minutes? I mean, hey, I mean, text. you know what, Baden, you're cute, so you're lucky. Ah, uh, so I'll forgive you. It. I mean, it's not a big deal at the end of the day. I'm just, oh, is there another gremlin? I'm totally gonna die again oh, for this gremlin. What's uh, what's that? I thought that the rock was rocks, gonna hit yeah. you and knock you off that one little. Uh, I was waiting for it. Breaking the stones right there. Like that. Yeah. God damn. Well, not exactly what I was envisioning, but yeah, you died. I always hate the enemies where their whole thing is I throw a big ass rock at you. Yeah, it sucks. Also, poison swamps are a terrible trope. Yeah, they're, they're in uh... every From Software game that is of this style. Yeah, I know. It's because they hate their their players. They're like, well, from software games, kind of just the same game, just a little bit better than the one that came before it. I think that the the real thing is that the from software player base really just like pain. Yeah, I think these games have come a long way. I think of of like this style. I haven't played the new one, but of like 
of these, I think Dark Souls 3 is the most accessible. And do you want this, by the way? I didn't know if this got passed. Uh, no, just like, give me good. a second. Yeah. Uh, I'll get around to it. Yo, my mic battery is low. Whoa. Um, I think I have a cable. Uh, there's one plugged into the PlayStation. We'll right. reach. We'll take uh, I mean, after this. yeah. Uh, so I had a really good question that I thought of earlier today, and then I forgot it. Figures, you gotta start worst? writing that stuff mm. down, man. I know. I know. Right when I got it, though, I was like, I'm not gonna forget this. <laughs> I feel like I never write enough down when I think of an idea for something. Oh, you should. You guys should see my room. I have just like pieces of paper with like a phrase written on it with like zero context. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's what my phone, like my my iPhone notes are like that. Yeah. Like I just have one of my talking points of something I wanted to do for the for an episode is just Vince Neil. Don't Vince remember Neil. what. Just, just something about Vince Neil. <laughs> I, I saw one uh, a couple of days ago because I was going through my camera roll and it was just tell Mike robbery story and it was from like a, it was from like months ago and I'm assuming I never did what uh, uh, is the robbery story me and Mike one time uh, we were like maybe 16 and we decided to walk to a 7-eleven right by his house which is like dangerously far and we used to make this walk like really it's often. not that far it is not safe to walk down i i oh, drove we down did that, that road walk a million we times. did do that walk a million times wasn't fucking safe <laughs> was not safe like i've driven it was down that only road like a night. mile dude that shit sucked and uh we anyway we walked there one night and we had like just smoked and we get to right where there's a Chinese restaurant and we see this dude dip out of the store like full speed and we're like, oh, that's a little weird, whatever. Go into the 7-Eleven, buy a bunch of snacks. We're in there what? maybe like five, ten minutes. As we're walking out of the 7-Eleven, we see three police officers with guns in their hand going into that Chinese restaurant. Turns out that oh, dude robbed terrifying. it. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. That dude straight up robbed it. Damn. Uh, yeah. And me and Mike. I'm just, guessing that you did not give a description. Uh, we awkwardly walked. By, I mean, I didn't even see the guy's face. It was really late at night, and the guy just dipped like he was out. We, really? You just yeah, saw someone running out? Basically, and uh, we were also really high, so like you know, memory's a little blurry. But uh, yeah. yeah. We, so we see the dude just run away. Uh, a cop looks at us oh, and then you. goes into the fucking Chinese restaurant. And then, like, as we were walking back to his house, we watched a car get pulled over right next to us. And then Mike, the cop gets out of the car, and Mike just goes, huh, it's like a strobe light. Huh. And the cop just stares at both of us as we, like, awkwardly walked back to his house. Good night. <laughs> yeah, it was a good night. One time when I was working at Target, I just, like, straight as I was coming into work, saw a man robbing the store. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I was coming in through the front door, and, like, as I... You know how, like, the automatic doors only open from one side? Yeah. So, as um, oh, I'm right. going through the enter doors, this guy comes running out the same doors that I'm going in, and he's got a cart full of the Roomba vacuum cleaners i feel like those would sell really well oh they're yeah they are cost like four hundred dollars at target Jesus they're very expensive Christ. yeah well, um, i know they're that much yeah they're real expensive um and this man had put like tin foil over the the fucking spider wraps like that would make it so the alarm wouldn't trigger Jesus or Christ. something but um yeah he so was just triggered barely... Yeah, it triggered it, anyways. It, it didn't work. Did they catch him? Uh, I don't know if they caught him, but, like, I just came in and was like, yeah, we just got robbed. Like, some dude just, and they are like, yeah, we know. Also, you're an hour late. And I was like, eh, that'll happen. Yeah. I'm like, that's what happens when uh, this place sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't stop that robbery either, because this place sucks. Yeah. That's how I feel like the, yeah. on the day someone robs, like, wow, wow, I'm just going to be like... Yeah, I could not imagine you putting <laughs> yourself in any kind Dude. of danger. 
just be like, dude, here, you can come in yourself and, like, yeah. have all the cash. Like, like have at it. Just like, have at it. I'll fill up your tank home. for you also. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they, they, like, don't even have a weapon. They've given me shit before because, like, people will drive off. And, like, there, I saw one guy, one guy try to stop someone stealing from our store. You know what they did to him? They fired him. That yeah, you're not supposed to. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Some dude stole a bunch of shit, and this guy, like, tackled him to the ground, and they fired his ass. A car will pull out without paying, and they're like, why didn't you stop him? And I'm like, one, what the fuck am I going to do? Two, I'm not jumping in front of a car to get fired. Yeah, Hell for no. real. I feel like I could just see you being what? all high-like, and the dude just being like, give me the money. Yeah. And just like, okay. They're like, all right, man. There you go. Here's my code. Oh, did your mic die? Yeah, it did. Did this happen the last episode? We Maybe. Did? I I think so. That was South Park, though. Mm, I don't that, like uh, being in this area. I like that squid monster, though. I just want to fucking kill Amygdala and move on with my life. I'll take that thick cold blood, though. It's a thick... It's a thick boy. Is this... Okay, that's where I just was earlier. Makes sense. I get so confused in these places and turned yeah. around. I have, like, no idea where we are right now. <laughs> I just know that that fucking asshole up there is uh, really gonna cause me a lot of grievance. Yeah, so oh, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm just stuck in this poison swamp, yeah. and I think that I... Oh went God. the wrong direction. I love that it's like slow poisoning, but then...